Hello everybody, my name is Mark. Welcome to another one of my RuneScape videos. And in this video, uh, this is video number two in what looks like I'm going to be doing four videos in this safe cracking series video. It's quick and easy. I'm going to be showing you the routes and the locations of the different safes. And that's pretty much it. And you have your loot bag, you have your stethoscope, and you know where the thieving guild is, you know how to get there. And you must be minimum level 69, and this is all the way from level 69 to level 75. And I would strongly suggest that you complete the fairy ring quest so that you can use the fairy ring to get to one of the locations, which I'm going to show you a little later in the video. So without further ado, let's start cracking these babies open. Okay, so for this first set of safes, you are going to be teleporting to the Alcarid Lodestone. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And you're going to be real happy when you see how close these safes are. So uh, here we go. All right, now we are in Alcarid Lodestone. And if you just wave your mouse right up there, you see crack open safe. So just click right there. The doors are open, so your guy will autopilot there. And you are cracking that baby open. And that is your first safe right there. Okay, so that's done. The safe has been cracked. And now for the second safe, uh, if you look over at my mini map, I'm going to click my mouse on the left side of that building with the two swords there. It's a scimitar shop. And on the outside of that building, which my guy's walking to, there's a set of stairs. You're going to climb up the stairs. And then inside the door, right there in the corner, you are going to crack open the safe and that is going to be the second safe that you're going to do in this area of Alcarid. Okay, that's done and now we are ready to move on to the next area so we are going to climb down the steps and uh, I'm going to go to Polinovich and if we look on my map it's down here. I just use the magic carpets to get there, uh, but if you have a Slayer ring, there's a Slayer Master that you can teleport to that lives in there very close to the chest. But it's good enough to walk down here, it doesn't take that long, and just go outside into the desert through the Shantae Pass, and uh, then just use the magic carpets to get down there. It also gives a little bit of time for the other uh, safes that you crack to reset. I think it takes about five minutes for each safe. And so we're going to walk through the Shantae Pass. And right where that little arrow is, is where the magic carpets are. And so we're going to right click on that guy, Travel Rug Merchant. And we're going to go to North Polinovich. And uh, we are going to magically fly across the desert. And we are going to uh, travel to the town of Polinovich. And here in my mini map uh, as I walk to the south a little bit you can see that the little thieving guilds and that's where the next set of safes are so if you next set of safes are click your your mouse by that teardrop that's where the door entrance is you are gonna have to open the door to get in there so you open the door and then when you open the door you can click on the safe right there and you are going to crack both of those safes open and uh, one little side note here is in order to have access to these safes there's a quest that you need to complete it's called the feud i have it up right here you got to complete this quest and that gives you access to this area if you haven't completed it then you just have to skip this one and move on to the next part so if you completed it then you just come right here like i just did and you crack these babies open Okay, uh, those safes are cracked, and now we can move on to the next area. And the next place we're going to go to is Narda, right over there. And again, I'm just going to take the magic carpets, so I'm going to go back out the way I came. And it would help to open the door first before I go clicking on the magic carpets. And so we're going to walk up there to the north. 
There is a faster way to get there if you have a desert amulet, if you happen to have completed the medium achievements for the desert, but if not, uh, taking the magic carpets is good enough, and then you can right click travel, uh, travel rug merchant, and then click on Narda. And just like when we came to Palombich, we are going to magically fly across the desert to this little town of Narda. And now here we are, and in my mini map, I am going to click my mouse on that little teardrop right there because on the other side of that teardrop is where. Uh, the safes are and it's going to be inside the building right there and there is a set of stairs that we're going to go up so we go up the stairs and the safe is right there in the left corner of the room so we click on the safe and we crack that baby open okay uh, this next area we're going to be going to is the town of Minifos and this one we simply bring up our teleport system and we teleport to the lodestone of Minifos and there are five safes in the area one of them I don't have access to you need a uh, level five tier reputation for the imperial district I don't have that and so you'll get to see what happens when you try to go in that room you don't have that Okay, but that's okay. There's still four safes here, and so here we are, and this first area we're going to go north, and there's going to be two safes up here that we're going to hit before we go back down. And as we go north in my mini-map, you'll see a little fish hook, so I click my mouse just in the upper left of that fish hook, because that's going to make my guy do an autopilot towards the safe that I want to hit. And now you can see the safe, the little thieving icon, so we are going to go inside of that room right there and we are going to crack that safe and the safe is right there and so click the mouse on the safe and we crack that baby open okay that's done and now we're just going to head straight to the east and the other safe is in the building to the east. You can already see the little thieving icon. It's in the general store right there. So we go inside. And the safe is going... I, actually, I went in the wrong room. It's in the lower room. Uh, so you're going to go into the lower room. And you're going to go inside the room like so. And uh, the safe is going to be in the corner up there. So click your mouse on the safe and crack that baby open. Okay, that's done. Now we're going to head back to where we just were. And yes, you can easily walk there, but I just teleport there using the lodestone. It's a little tiny bit quicker. It might save you 10 or 15 seconds or so. And so now here we are, we are back and now we're going to head to the south. And you see that bridge down there where you are going to click your mouse on the bridge and then your guy is going to start walking autopilot down there and this is pretty much the only quick way or really the only way to get down here is you have to walk and then on the left heading west is a white walkway so click your mouse on the white walkway and then the first turn you're going to head all the way down to the south to the bottom of the walkway and eventually when we get to the bottom of the walkway you see the little thieving guild on the left side of my mini map the thieving icon uh, that's where the safe is so I click my mouse over there my guy walks over there and then I'm going to walk into the room and the safe is right there on the top of the room and so we click our mouse on the safe and we crack that baby open Okay, that's done. Now this next set of safes, the quickest way to get there is to use the fairy rings. And what, what I do is I use my, uh, my, legend, my cape of legends and I teleport over to the, uh, to the, the, to the uh, legends guild. And actually I forgot to toggle it. Uh, it would help to toggle it to the outside. And now let me... Let me t teleport to the outside of this guild so that it literally teleports me right next to the fairy ring. And so now I right click on the fairy ring, and select the destination, and I have the destination here in my favorites. The code is C as in Charlie, 
K is in King Kong, O is an octopus. And so I click on that and the little code comes up, teleport to this location. And this is the quickest way to get to the next safe. Of course, you can always walk, but if we you look at the map, look how long the walk is. You'd have to walk all the way from the south all the way that way. And that could take a couple minutes, so quickest way is to use the fairy rings like I just did. Now, I'm going to walk to the north, and I'm going to show you what happens. This safe right here, I don't have access to. Uh, and I have to have level 5 reputation and I have not been working on that so here's what happens when I try to open the door it's going to give me a little message here and the message is it appears to be locked perhaps the owner will be more careless another day and he will be more careless if I take the time to get the level 5 but I'll just tell you right now it's probably not worth it to spend the time to get level 5 reputations do a bunch of task cut down a bunch of trees or whatever the tasks are to get the reputation because the leveling is so quick that uh, it's probably just as quick just to do the other safes and just to skip this one because you will have time to reset so I, there will be enough time for the safes to reset and you can just do those safes you don't have to hit every single safe in every single level okay so I head back down here and now the other safe is right here so Actually, let me let me go back up real quick to where the fairy ring was, and uh, the fairy ring was uh, like over here somewhere. Uh, yeah, here, here's where the fairy ring is right here. Uh, let me right click walk here, and that's the fairy ring. So now you know. Don't walk to the north and don't do that first safe if you don't have level five reputation because you're gonna get the message that I got. And so just walk to the south like this. And you're going to walk to the corner, you see the thieving icon, and then you walk into the room, and then into that next room, and you see the safe in the corner. You're going to click your mouse on the safe, just like all the others, and you are going to crack that safe open. Okay, so that is done. The safe is cracked, and that is all of the safes in this area here. Uh, if you are level 69 thieving, and then you can just uh, go back to the Alcarid Lodestone and just just go in circles, do, do a big cycle uh, and crack these safes over and over until you hit level 76. And you can just uh, crack these safes open. It, thieving is a very quick and easy skill to level. My thieving level is already level 84. And uh, it will be no time before, I, I'm thinking this might even be my first level 99 skill. So that's it for this, for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Hope you find it helpful. Feel free to leave a comment or give it a thumbs up. Whatever you can do. So thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And ciao.